Right now, Eyewitness Sports. Good evening, I'm Brennan Miller with Eyewitness Sports. And exciting news today as the city of Utica adds another minor league franchise to its roster of teams. This one a name that is already very well known in the community. United Elite Krashnik was named as the affiliate of Utica City FC this morning by Major Arena Soccer League 2, or M2, the second tier of professional indoor soccer in the United States. UCFC is now the parent club of United Elite, the newest and 19th overall franchise that will be playing games in the league starting in January of 2024. They join the East Division of M2 and will play a divisional schedule of games against the Baltimore Arsenal, the affiliate of the Baltimore Blast, the Rochester Lancers, and Atletico Orlando, who will play their entire 12-game regular season on the road as they build a new home stadium in Florida. Speaking of a home stadium, it was also announced that United Elite will split their games between the Adirondack Bank Center and Utica University Nexus Center. Those contests held at the odd being double headers with UCFC. We had the chance to talk to UCFC General Manager Tommy Tanner and United Elite owner and coach Anel Pizatovich, an Eyewitness News exclusive there, about the partnership between the two teams and what it means for both of them going forward. We're really excited to be able to bring an M2 franchise uh, to Utica. Anel Pizatovich and United Elite Krashnik, um, you know, came to us with this opportunity and, um, you know, we've uh, decided to partner, affiliate with uh, Krashnik and Anel. They've been tremendous supporters of our, uh, of our pro team. We think it's a great opportunity for some of our young players who get to play as many games last year, or newer young players, and then players in the community to be able to have a pathway to, to get to the M1 team and, and play at Utica City. So me and Tommy know from our, our youth club days, um, and this uh, came came across a great opportunity um, for us. Uh, I was brought to it by the league and uh, by other ownership of the league, and I was I jumped right on opportunity. Um, I know it's a great organization. Tommy does, and the crew does a really well job, and I want to be a part of that. Well, I think it's a it's a great opportunity for Coach Everton to be able to, you know, have players who can you know can train and play. Be able to play in our system, um, which I'm sure they'll they'll have some connection of, of, of playing the same way, and you know be able to develop you know younger players to be able to you know play play in the M1 level. We're ready. Um, I think we're we have a plan that's pretty solid for us to pr make sure we provide our players uh, and our staff and our fans the opportunity to you know go bigger season begins in November for UCFC, but the MASL 2 season won't start until January. It will then run through March with teams playing 12 regular season games. That wasn't the only UCFC news in the last two days. As we reported last week, head coach Everton Marrera was named as the head coach of the United States men's national futsal team. And since then, he's named camp invitees, which include current and former UCFC players Alan Carventura Jr., Nilton De Andrade, and Nate Bordeaux. But before that, UCFC posted this picture of Everton ready to roll on his first day of camp today in Downington, Pennsylvania, all to prep for next spring's CONCACAF Futsal Championship before the 2024 FIFA Futsal World Cup in Uzbekistan. Along with the U.S. team, Everton is still the head coach at UCFC, so I asked Tommy Tanner if he'd heard from him before he got camp underway today. Yeah, he's his first day. He just called me right before, right before the press conference. Uh, probably a little nervous. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, there's different, you know, obviously people do things different ways, and uh, you know, he's adapting, but uh, you know, we've already talked about possibly having something here in Utica you know, in January with the, with the team and stuff like that. So we're looking forward to it. So, Jamie, things getting started for Everton as he starts camp. And you got to love that picture, kind of a I first know. day of school style That's thing awesome. from head coach there. I know uh, United Elite has a lot of youth players in their program, yeah. too. So that must be neat to see them. You know, getting something new to look up to. Yeah, they talked about that a lot. The fact that it's going to be an opportunity for some local players to come through, play through the United Elite system, and then have a chance yeah. to go professional with Utica City FC. So pretty cool to have that right chance. here in our backyard. Absolutely. Thanks, Brennan.